Hi, it's Tony again. We're back on the bench. And this afternoon, I've got a special little talk that I wanted to do, a special session on spools for your take-apart reels, your vintage pen take-aparts. Uh, so this is specifically off of a, a pen Jigmaster Model 500 here, these two spools. So in a nutshell, you've got metal spools and you've got plastic spools. What's the differences? What's the pros and cons? Well, it's pretty basic. So when Penn offered uh, the Jigmaster, for instance, it pretty much was offered with primarily plastic spools for the purposes of casting and jigging because of the lighter weight factor. But eventually they, they did offer the, the metal spools as well uh, you know, pretty early on uh, for, uh, for any of those that wanted to use the reel in, in a heavier capacity, not quite so much casting, but maybe more for, for deeper bottom fishing off of a boat or off of a pier. Uh, and, and they just wanted that, that, that uh, ample strength you know, from, from the metal spool. And eventually Penn offered aluminum equivalents for a lot of their take apart designs, such as the Jigmaster, uh, the Squitters, uh, the surf masters, the beach masters, all those. Uh, the beach masters not a take apart, but it's a it's a wide frame similar to these. Uh, but uh, the I'd say the advantages really uh, with using a plastic spool, for instance, like this one, is really in the casting uh, because of of its light weight, and and that's really what the plastic spools were designed for was because they were lightweight, and so you didn't have all that drag and pull. Uh, when you're trying to do a long cast out on the beach or off of a jetty. Uh, and as you can see, uh, this uh, Dacron line is spooled up on this, on this plastic spool here. And there's a reason for that. It's called backing line, uh, for those of you that don't know. And uh, typically with these plastic spools, this is what you want on there. You want uh, at least a quarter to half the spool uh, spooled up with this uh, Dacron line or braided line, uh, as, as it's been called, uh, because you don't want monofilament line spooled up all the way down to the base of the spool, because if you're fighting a big, heavy fish, that tension of that monofilament is so strong that it actually will uh, crack uh, the, the inside of the spool. And uh, it's not an uncommon problem. Now, you know, the other thing to note is that plastic spools aren't really offered very much so in modern day reels today, this, this day and age. Uh, so, you know, as time goes on, these get more brittle over time. It's not to say you can't use them, but again, if you're fighting something big and, uh, and it's taking you for a ride, uh, that's something to note. But if you have this backing line on here and you're, your surf casting or squidding uh, or whatnot, then you know th th this is a is a pretty ample amount of space to to have on your on your spool uh, for monofilament line for a reel like this. I mean, I would never use anything probably more than twenty pound test. I mean, this is a pretty good size reel, um, but you know twenty to twenty five pound test max, I'd say, uh, you know would would be pretty much the cap. So, uh, but you know, that would be pretty, uh, a pretty fair amount of, uh, of a 20 pound test on there, uh, which is, which is really all that you would need. But that's the whole point behind the backing line on the plastic spool. Now moving on to the metal spool, you don't need the backing line with a metal spool. You can do it, uh, if you just want to save monofilament line. But again, what's the application? Are you casting? Are you bottom fishing? Are you drifting? Are you pier fishing? You know, um, you know, so, you know, metal spools are, are just kind of general purpose, I'd say, but, but there is a lot more weight to a metal spool. So it, it makes it a lot more difficult to cast, uh, and a lot more prone to backlash, I'd say too, uh, for, uh, for most situations. But, but, uh, the good, the, I'd say the real pros, the real good things about the metal spools is that you don't have to worry about them cracking. Uh, they last a long time as long as you keep them clean. And uh, you can spool up as much monofilament line as you want on here without having to worry about doing your backing line. The, you know, backing line, Dacron line is pretty expensive uh, in opposed to monofilament line. Monofilament line is typically pretty cheap by comparison. 
but uh, <clears throat> down other downsides though to the metal spools is that they do corrode, um, which is why they eventually swapped over to doing aluminum spools uh, to to kind of get away from that problem. And aluminum spools are kind of the best of both worlds. Uh, in, in between these two, basically, you've got the you've got the lighter weight, uh, you know, but you've got the characteristics of a of a metal spool all in one package in in a, a aluminum version, which I don't have for this particular reel, but uh, but that's really the the in between, uh, which is really why they they went that route in the long run uh, to get away from the brittleness of the plastics. And uh, and to have the the lighter weight that these these metal these old school metal spools couldn't offer. So so in a nutshell, that's uh, that's basically the differences. Um, you know, but if you think about your application and what kind of fishing it is that you're doing and how it is that you want to fish, uh, those things should determine uh, what uh, what spools uh, that you're going to put on your on your reel uh, for when you go on out fishing. So. Uh, thanks again for watching. This is Tony with Back on the Bench. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. We'll see you next time.